Hey guys, um, you may remember at the end of last year we did quite a few Nespresso pod holder dispenser reviews, didn't we? Um, and then we did a video where we put them all against each other and ranked them. Now, this is one that I got asked about at the time. It's the Pixie pod dispenser. Um, but it was so similar to the Touch one, the Touch sleeve dispenser, which spins round, that I didn't end up reviewing this one in the end because it's quite expensive. It's £43. Um, and the Touch dispenser, the Touch sleeve one, that was £28 and it holds more. That one holds six um, sleeves and this one only holds four. So I just thought, well, if someone's looking at this, then, you know, maybe it's time to get hold of it, have a look at it, um, and we'll see if it's worth the extra money because it's aluminium sort of design, the sleeves, where it's not it's not as plastic as the touch one. So I thought we'd, get it, we'd have a look and see if it's worth the money, basically. And um, so we're going to get it open now. As I said, it holds 40 pods. Whereas the sleeve one out held 60. Um, let's just get it out and we'll run through some dimensions and things in a minute. There we go. Until I haven't had this out of the box yet, can't you? I don't know which side to access it from. That's the first look. So it is quite a smart looking design. I'm trying to think, that, that looks a lot like um, a virtual mug actually. Do you agree? Do you think it looks like a virtual mug? Travel yeah, mode. no, it does that with the rubber band. Yeah, around the middle. Around the middle, yeah. Let's try and get a, a bit more. Try and get it out further. There. So what I was intrigued about is these um, bottom bits, because obviously in the other ones, the cardboard shows up a lot more at the bottom. So I was wondering whether how the sleeves insert into this one. I'll tell you what, it's a very robust thing. Um, and it is pure metal, that. It's not plastic at all. You've got a rubber band running around the middle, Nespresso branded all the way around. Um, but it doesn't seem to spin like the Touch one did. There's not, it's not on a rack or anything. Um, so we'll have a closer look now, and we'll come back in a second and see, see if we can get it set up right. That might just be it, though, to be honest. So just have a, a bit more of a close-up look then, because it was a bit awkward a minute ago. Um, we've taken out the little cardboard inserts that they had at the bottom there. Um, and it is just a standalone unit. This is what it is. Um, it doesn't spin on a frame or it, uh, there's no lid to it or anything like that. We can see from the box, if we have a look, it just shows how the sleeves go in at the top. Um, but then it does show it as having no cardboard bits at the bottom. Now, you might remember when we did the touch sleeve dispenser one, um, we ended up doing another video where we cut off those cardboard bits at the bottom to try and make it just make it look a little bit neater because it was a bit scruffy looking. Um, so we'd, I think we'd want to do that even more with this because it's quite a premium looking thing. And, you know, if you don't want a plastic looking pod holder and you want something a little bit more classy, a bit more robust, then this might fit the bill. Um, but it doesn't have, a, like I say, it doesn't spin on a frame. So this is what the rubber bar is for, the rubber band, sorry. Um, so you can lift it up, spin it round. Before we move on then and put the um, sleeves in, let's just run through quickly some of the dimensions. So it says it's 31 centimetres high. 8.5 by 8.5 centimetres um, across, so it's a square. Um, it is four sleeves, it holds 40 capsules, but it doesn't come with any capsules in it. £43, um, but if you're a, an expert or ambassador member, you'll get 20% off that. So what does that bring it down to? It's like a shade under um, £35. Um, and as we said, that's compared to the touch sleeve dispenser, which was £28, and that held 60. We'll get a few sleeves in there now. We'll leave the cardboard bottoms on. And then we'll see if we can take them off. Because on the touch sleeve dispenser, it had a little rim on the inside here as well. Now, I can't feel one. And that sort of held it in place a little bit. Um, but, so I would be relying on this back bit at the bottom there, hoping that it will keep that classy look with no cardboard bits flapping around. Right, so the first thing to notice then is when you get the leaflet, it actually say inside, it says to open the cardboard boxes, the sleeves, um, from the bottom. You just slide them in and then you open them while they're actually in the dispenser. Um, now, that yeah, that can be done. It is a little bit awkward, but I have had people in the past, when we did the sleeve dispenser video, the touch one, say that they lean it on its side, they open it beforehand to get a nice, neat edge on it, and then they lean it on its side and slide the pods in neatly. Um, so that's one way to go about it. But the reason I put them in like this is just to show you that on the box, it actually shows the Nespresso back branding with the name of the pods on top, um, so that you can see them from the top of the dispenser. However, when you come to actually put them in, the sleeves only have a perforated edge on one side. Um, on the other side, you see, we, we don't have a perforated edge. Um, and on the top, on the side where there is no perforation, 
Um, I hope that's a, a real word. <laughs> um, it's just the dates. Um, so it's not a very pretty looking thing on top if you're going to put it in the right way around, you know, and that side's going to be at the bottom, which we can see on top here if you have a look. So we'll have a look there. You can see the perforated edge around the bottom. That's where we're going to open it, and that's where the pods are going to come out. Um, but on top, you've only got the best befores dates and a little bit of other information, whereas the way it's displayed on this box over here is basically saying that it should be the other way around, but it can't be done that way. It would be nice if it could, because it looks good. Um, so let's get it on its side. Let's get it on its side now. We'll try and slide them in. We did try and do it in situ, and it's not the easiest thing in the world, so we just thought to get a neat finish, we'll take them out, and we'll even now look, taking them out apart, the they're not the easiest thing to keep neat, are they? Um, but let's try and slide it in from the side, as suggested by a subscriber in the past. So I won't open it yet. We'll open them and just keep them in position. And as I say, we will try and cut a few of these cardboard edges off, um, lips off in a minute, just to see if it neatens it up at all. We did resort to even using scissors in the end um, to, to get a neater finish. I should be picking it up by the rubber band really um, to save fingerprints because we did notice it does attract fingerprints a little bit. Um, possibly because we've got the lighting on it in the background, it might emphasise that more. And there's a bit of dust on the rubber band around the middle. Um, but it's not a huge deal. It, like I say, it might be because we do have some lighting behind us, highlighting that. But anyway, that's how it looks. Um, you would pick it up. Let's see how... You can shake it about a bit. The pods aren't moving. And the reason I'm doing that is because you're going to have to pick it up to get to... Or you could put it on its side like that. And then you could reach either side, couldn't you? But it doesn't look quite as neat and tidy that way, I don't think. Um, so it might be a case of just spinning it by the rubber band in the middle. But if you have a look on top, that's the finish. That's what it's going to look like once the pods are in. Would have been really nice if we could have had it looking a little bit more like it does on the picture, as we've just mentioned, but it's not possible. So that's the way it is. And um, what we'll do now, we'll try and cut the edges off and just see if we can get it looking a little bit neater down the bottom. And just for those who haven't actually seen these kind of dispensers at all before, um, the pod just pops out at the bottom and then the next one. So I've just took a pod out there and the next one just sits nice and neatly in place at the bottom there. So as you can see, all we've done is snipped away that um, little lip at the bottom and just at the back. We do have a separate video showing how we did that. We went through the process for the touch one. Um, so I'll link to that above now if you want to check out just watching us how we did it really. But it's literally just a case of cutting a cutting across the back there. But how do we get them in? Will they go in without spilling everywhere? That's the problem. Um, let's see on this one. See, there's nothing to stop it. That's the only problem. On the touch one, as I said, it has a little lip on the front and that kind of stops it falling down a bit. Um, but on this one, it's not gonna work the same way, is it? Because if we look now, I've put it right to the um, top there. Um, but at the bottom, we've still got some of it showing. So we'd have to be a bit more neat with the cutting and actually cut a bit further up. Um, so that's, just, that's a shame, really. But I'll tell you what, let's try it without a sleeve at all and see what that looks like. So to do that, I think what I'm going to do is just sort of keep a hold of it at the top um, and then tilt it up and see if they drop into position nicely, the pods. And then if they do, we can sort of remove this sleeve from the top. And it does sit in position. I'll check if it still works in a minute, but it doesn't come right the way to the top. And um, the pods are a little bit further down there. But let's just see now, because there are 10 pods still. There are 10 pods still in there. So let's see if it works. So that does work then. And it looks a lot neater, doesn't it? So we have put the Napoli ones in in the same way now. And it was quite a simple process, really. You probably would have to let them run out completely, then just slide the sleeve in open uh, with no lid on you know removing that cardboard lid and then remove the sleeve from the top so that we end up with something that looks like this at the bottom and like this at the top uh, as opposed to having the boxes in with the dates at the back and the scruffy if we look at the bottom again the scruffy cardboard sleeves at the bottom there um personally i prefer that look but i, I keep gripping it by the metal and i shouldn't i'd have to get used to gripping it there whether i like the band around the middle i'm not sure what do you think let us know in the comments um, £43 though, is it worth it? I'm struggling to get there in my mind. You can get a few fingerprints on. 
Um, but what do you think? Is it worth it? Let us know in the comments. Um, thanks for watching the video. Hope it's helped you if you're thinking about buying it or if you've looked at this in the past and you weren't sure um, whether it was for you or not. I hope it's helped you to make a decision. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Thank you.